What's up guys, First Hand Account here with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about tips and tricks to shoot better night photos with the Leica Q. Now this doesn't only apply to people who have the Leica Q, this also applies to anybody that has a camera that has optical image stabilization or has any kind of lens stabilization as well um, in the lenses that you guys are using. So when I started photography back in 2015, the first thing that I actually started with was night photography. I absolutely loved night photography and one of the people that I looked up to that was a professional photographer that was a family friend of mine, I asked him, you know, what are some tips and tricks that you have for someone that's just starting out? And one of the tips he gave me is to start shooting night photography first instead of shooting uh, daytime photography or golden hour photography like everybody else does. So I took his advice and the first thing I started shooting was night photography. I used a lot of tripods to try to keep the ISO low and just do long exposures. So that's the first tip that I have to shoot with um, any camera honestly to shoot better night photography. Put it on a tripod, use you know a really really low aperture like f8, f11 to get a lot of things in focus and then just use a really long shutter and drag all the motion out but keep all the still things in the frame really sharp and that's obviously a super easy way to take uh, night fo photos and to take better night photos this is like a super obvious way as well the second tip that I have to give you you guys is a technique that I personally use all the time and this more applies to people who have cameras that have optical image stabilization or have some kind of lens stabilization as well. So what I like to do is I like to keep the ISO kind of low, probably around like 400 or 640 or 800, depending on your camera um, and how many ISO adjustments that you have. You know, you can choose the best one for the situation. Every situation is gonna be different because you don't know how much light is gonna be in the scene. But I like to use the optical image stabilization in the Leica Q and actually bring the shutter way down to like one fourth of a second or one tenth of a second and just handhold that and I'll just basically put the camera into burst mode and take like a few frames at once and try to keep it as still as possible and with the optical image stabilization it actually keeps the image super sharp it allows you to get night scenes in really dark areas that uh, have a lot of latitude in post-production so you can bring the exposure up later and since you're at like ISO 800 or 640 you're not going to get nearly as much noise as if you were at ISO like 3200 or 6400. So that's a technique that I personally use all the time. Recently I've been inspired by a photographer named Todd Heido. Now if you guys like fine art photography and film photography, then you probably heard of him, but he takes a lot of photos in the American suburbs and he'll go out with a medium format camera and put it on a tripod and get these long exposures of houses in different you know, suburbs around the American cities that he encounters and that he interacts with. So I've been really inspired by his work and I've been trying to figure out a way to create my own Todd Heido inspired work but put my spin on it so recently I've been going out and shooting a lot of night photos of Christmas lights in Minnesota with the Leica Q and for some reason over the past like five or six years the amount of people that put lights on on the outside of their house to celebrate Christmas is going down and down and down every single year. I don't know why. I wanted to try to capture it the best that I could before it is completely gone and it no longer exists anymore. So when I was a kid, almost everybody on every street in the suburbs of Minnesota would have at least some Christmas lights outside, if not like a crazy display of, you know, basically like the National Lampoon Christmas movie where he puts like a million lights on the outside of the house. That's what a lot of people would do in Minnesota for some reason and it just keeps dying out every single year. So now it's only every like few houses or maybe three houses on an entire block on both sides. So it's really scattered and it's, it's not really as popular anymore. So I've been trying to capture that as 
the best that I can. I've been using the low shutter speed OIS technique when I shoot all those photos. So the other day I went out and shot a bunch of these and I put the GoPro on the Leica Q so I could bring you guys with me. And I took a bunch of photos of the Christmas lights around the neighborhoods across the street from my apartment complex. So I'm gonna show you guys those images now and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed all those night photos with the Leica Q. Like I said, I use the really low shutter speed OIS technique that I just talked about earlier in the video. And that's what I do for all of these photos to make sure that I can bring the exposure up later in post and not get that much noise. So the last and final low light tip that I have for you guys is actually something that I was taught by other Leica photographers and other fine art photographers that were using like Leica M9s and kind of older digital cameras. And what they do is in, you know, really low light scenes when they have to crank the ISO up to 1600 or 3200 or 6400, which was like, mind blowing back in the day in like 2013, 2010. Not a lot of people were shooting photos at ISO 6400. So what a lot of people would do is they would actually convert the image to black and white in post-production and the way that the grain and the noise looks in the photo when you convert it to black and white is actually a lot less digital and a lot more pleasing to the eye. You don't get a lot of that banding that you see in like digital banding in different colors that you see in like color digital files that are really, really pushed when it comes to the ISO. When you convert it to black and white, it looks a lot more naturalistic and it comes out a lot more usable. Sometimes it doesn't work because the scene is just way too dark and maybe you underexpose the image way too much. But overall, it's a technique that I use all the time to try to shoot in all conditions. Like I said, I love night photography. That's like my favorite thing to shoot. It's been my favorite thing to shoot since like 2015. 
and for some reason I just always keep getting brought back to shooting night photos. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Hit like if you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, I have a bunch of videos coming up very soon. I'm about to release my first photo book ever, so I'm really excited to show you guys that process and uh, the story behind it and show you guys how I make it and all that kind of stuff. So as always, I hope you guys are having a good one and peace. Thank you.